What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about how to get buttery soft edits using Adobe Lightroom. So you might be thinking to yourself, Sean, what the hell is a buttery soft edit? A buttery soft edit is an edit that is easy on the eyes, it's cinematic, it's soft. If you feel a little bit crazy, you might use the word tender. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can describe a soft image. When we use the word soft in photography, well, that can mean many different things. That can mean soft contrast, that can mean soft focus, like if your lens sucks um, or you just missed focus, or it can mean soft lighting, right? So there's a lot of different ways we can describe a soft image. And when it comes to editing in Adobe Lightroom, editing these soft images, honestly, all of these things apply. There's many ways to get a soft image in Adobe Lightroom, whether it be the lighting or the contrast or the texture and the detail. All of those things kind of play into that soft look. So in this video, we're going to be covering all three of those aspects, contrast, lighting, as well as the texture of the image. But before we get started, please take a second to subscribe to this channel. I'm putting out a lot of different photography tutorials um, and just general photography related content. All right, boom, let's jump onto my handy dandy MacBook and get this process started. All right, guys, so hopping into Lightroom here, I have an image here. Um, it's a portrait that I shot of my friend who is absolutely beautiful. And this is an absolutely beautiful scene. Um, you can see I totally underexposed it. So we have a lot of really dark areas here and the highlights are just kind of peeking through. Um, and I, the reason I chose this image is because we can really soften it up. It's already kind of soft and that's thanks to the, the lighting, right? Lighting is gonna be the first characteristic of a soft image. If you have a soft light source, um, a large light source that's projecting a nice soft light on your image, your light is gonna be soft and thus your contrast is gonna be soft, your image is gonna be soft in general. So shooting in soft light is the most important thing for achieving a soft image, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to learn how to edit a soft looking image. And here we have some pretty strong contrast like on her nose um, in different parts of the image. There's some, there's some strong contrast. So we're gonna soften this thing out. And the first thing we're gonna do, obviously we gotta go through the basic edits. Uh, I'm gonna brighten it up a little bit. I'm gonna lower those highlights, lower the shadows, and I'm gonna actually increase the contrast a little bit here. But then we're gonna move down to the tone curve. And the tone curve is what is totally gonna make this image into a soft, tender, gentle masterpiece. Okay, be ready for this. So the tone curve is essentially gonna dictate all the tones in your image. It's gonna dictate the contrast, the exposure, um, and it plays a lot of different roles in just changing the strength of the, the darks and the lights and the blacks and the whites and things like that. And a lot of the time I recommend a S curve, right? An S curve is a, a basic S curve like this, where it kind of softens out the tones a little bit um, and just kind of makes everything look good. And this works. But today we're gonna we're gonna go to the extreme. We're not gonna do the S curve. We're gonna be using a little bit different of a curve that's gonna be a little bit more extreme. So on the left here, we have a lot of darks. You can see this here in this area, and obviously in the image, you can see we have a lot of dark areas. So what I'm gonna do is create three points, and I'm just gonna drag this left point up a lot. And I'm not gonna touch the whites at all. And look how soft this makes our image. I mean, that that's crazy. It's, it's incredibly soft. And then you can keep going and playing around with it to get the desired softness that you want. And then you can come back up to blacks here. If you wanna make these areas uh, high contrast, but still really soft, we can do that. So you can see here, we're actually losing detail in these black areas, but we're softening it out. So it's totally fine. So the tone curve is gonna play a massive role in softening out the image, making everything look nice and soft and gentle. And you can do the same thing if you have a lot of whites in your image. In this situation, we don't. You can do it with the opposite side of the tone curve. And that is gonna soften out those white areas, those bright areas, to make it nice and cinematic. But that's just the first way to soften your image relating to the tones of the image, the contrast, the exposure of your image. The next thing we're gonna talk about is texture. And texture is basically the detail in your photograph. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there is a clarity epidemic on our hands. People love to use the clarity slider um, because it adds such a cool effect to your image. But if you wanna get a soft image, you need to flip that mindset upside down and stop using clarity. So that's my next point, is to use clarity in the proper way. So maybe you're not adding clarity, but in fact, you're subtracting it. And I got this tip from a good friend of mine 
Kyle Valeras. He is a fantastic photographer um, and videographer as well. Follow him on Instagram. He's putting out some sweet videos on YouTube as well. So I'm going to plug his channel. But essentially, what he told me is clarity can add a lot of unwanted attention to unimportant areas of your image. And subtracting clarity in different parts of your image can really help soften it up, soften the texture, and add more focus on your main subject. So for this image here, we're gonna do exactly that. We're actually gonna take our clarity slider and we're gonna bring it down by like 40. And already you can see how soft that image is and kind of in a good way, I really like it. Um, we can even go more. But then if you did want to have, you know, clarity in certain parts of your image, what I like to do is just paint it back in. So I'll go over here to the selective edits tool and then I'll just add a little bit of clarity and then you can just brush it back in to certain parts of the image that you think are necessary. Um, oftentimes you won't do it on the face because faces look better with less clarity. But in this situation, I'm just showing you how you can kind of add clarity back into the image while all of this area out here is still nice and soft. And the texture slider is also really cool. You can also do that with the texture slider. Um, you can just lower the texture and then kind of paint over areas of the image where you want less texture. And this will really help soften things out as well. Um, but just be careful, you can go overboard with this and um, you can really just take too much texture out of the image and it looks kind of weird. So I actually just like to use the uh, clarity and subtract the clarity. And that just kind of reduces the um, minute level of contrast, I guess you could say, and it just softens everything out. So that is the second step for achieving um, a soft edit in Adobe Lightroom in accordance to texture. Um, and the next tip is also related to texture, and that is the luminance slider. So if we scroll down here, we close all these, and we come down to detail, um, we have a few things here. We have sharpening, we have noise reduction, um, and as well as kind of fine tuning the noise reduction. But honestly, luminance is a fantastic slider. And yes, it does take detail out of the image, but we're here to make a soft image. We're here to make a soft edit. So what I like to do is actually drag up the luminance to 20 or 30, even in my landscape photos. I like having images that are kind of soft, a little bit cinematic. It doesn't have to be tack sharp in every photo. I think the photography businesses want us to believe that that's important, but it's not. The more, more importantly is the subject matter and the tones and the overall emotion of the image. So when I bring this up to 26, you can see what that does, but you can really see what it does when I zoom in here. So I'm gonna zoom into these, these dark areas here. This is zero luminance. And then watch what's gonna happen when I just go up to like 25. It just completely softens it out. Yes, and this image does have some grain in it. This was shot with an old camera. So there is some digital noise um, and it looks kind of bad. So in this situation, the noise reduction is gonna do more than uh, if you're shooting with a newer camera, but it does really soften things out. And then once again, if you just wanna have more focus in the face, just come back to it, come back to the slider, add some texture, add some sharpness, um, but the rest of the image stays nice and soft and gentle and relaxed. So what the luminance slider is doing is basically just reducing the detail um, in your image and kind of blurring it a little bit. Um, and it gives it a really nice and soft look. So you can see here, this is the after image. There's the before, there's the after. Really soft, really cinematic, really nice. And you can kind of take these principles and do anything with them. You can get that super soft look. If you want a super high contrast look, you can just go the opposite way. Um, so there's a lot of really interesting things where you can do with contrast and texture in Lightroom. Um, and especially when you get creative with some of the more selective edits, maybe you're just touching up the face or everything around the person. Um, you can get some really awesome soft looks in Lightroom that is suitable for a lot of different styles of photography. So um, I hope this has been helpful for you guys. Once again, please like uh, this video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel um, if you want to learn more about photography or whatever. Um, and also I want to shout out, I just published a new course on photography for beginners. So it's basically everything you need to know about starting out as a photographer um, without completely like overwhelming you with information. It's an hour and a half long. Nice and short, I cover lighting, composition, the exposure triangle, editing, everything you need to know. So links in the bio. Thanks guys, and I will catch you guys in the next one.